Hi guys, so today I will be making this headband made from a dollar scarf and this is how it looks, just like so. Added this little bow, I created this bow on it as well. So if you guys want to see how to create this little headband, stay tuned. What's going on you guys? I'm here today because I have a DIY to show you guys. I also have Love Mail. And I also have a little teeny haul to show you guys on today. So, hey, Min Pam. Min Pam asked me to do a DIY on a scarf um, to make a headband. So, I was just on her channel probably like a week ago. And she thought of a great idea, you guys. Something really simple and easy to do. Cute. And uh, I said that I was going to try it out. I told her that I was going to try it out and put it on my daughter's head. But I gave my daughter some crotchet braids so I didn't be I wasn't able to put the headband on her hair because it's like too many crotchet braids up there so I said I was gonna try it on myself so first off I'm gonna show you guys I got some scars which you guys know I purchased two scars from Dollar Tree like some weeks ago and I'll show you guys those two colorful scars that I purchased um, I tried to go in Dollar Tree and I tried to find another scarf that I can use because I really didn't want to use this one because this is the one that I really like so I really wanted to pick up another one just to make a make the headband with. But anyway, I just decided to use this one because when I went there, they didn't have any more anyway. So I got this scarf here, which was a dollar at Dollar Tree. And the only thing that I did was I folded it up. I took it here. And this is the way it is. And I just folded it this way, right here. And I just took an iron and I just flat ironed it much as I could just to try to make it flat now I got this headband right here guys it's just a real headband it's not plastic it's iron um, it just has a black ribbon going around it right here the only thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to wrap this um, scarf around this headband I'm also going to use my glue gun when I get through with it just to hold it down together in place and you can also get those glue guns from Walmart that's where I purchased mine from and I also got these glue sticks here from Walmart and it was nothing but like a dollar ninety seven for the um, the uh, glue holder and for the glue was ninety seven cents so yeah anyway I'm gonna get started and show you guys what I do to make a cute little headband to go around your ponytail now as you guys can see I just made a cute little ponytail here I stuck some bangs up there and I did me a cute little top knot bun so that when I put the headband up there I can just stick it right up there so I'm gonna get started so you guys watch me make this quick and simple DIY so I'm gonna fold this one more time just like so and I'm gonna take the headband here and I'm just gonna wrap it and I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna wrap it around just like so and you when you wrap it around you just wrap it around really tight when you wrap it around so it can be very very snug and I'm just gonna wrap it and I'm gonna keep on wrapping and keep on wrapping until I get around the full headband. So here we have the headband right here quick simple and easy it's really really cute now the piece that I have left I'm just gonna cut this little piece here with my scissors and I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna glue that baby right on
just like so. And this is what you have left over. And you want to take your hot glue gun right here. And you just want to place the hot glue gun right there on the tip part of your scarf. And you just want to wrap that baby around. Ooh, that glue is hot. Some of it got on my finger, y'all. And there you have a cute little headband. And you kind of want to just let it dry for a, mi for a minute. So, you want to kind of let that dry for a minute just so it can, you know, cool off. See, look at that. I burnt my hand, y'all. It's not quite dry yet. This is the final results to this headband cute um really affordable something that you can create on your own if you want something different just trying different things so i'm just going to place this baby right here on the top of my head and there you have it a cute little headband really easy cute and very affordable so that was my quick diy for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial Shouts out to Mim Pam because she's the one that i ran across her video and i saw it and i told her that i was going to try it so yes yeah, shouts out to her you guys can go over and check out her channel if you like um please let her know that miss candy crew 1100 sent you if you were to go over there and to watch her video um yes Definitely, if you would like to do anything else with the rest of your scarf, if you like to make something, you can just put this up under here, just like this. Messing up my bangs, y'all. But yeah, you can just drag that, just like so, on the side. And you can just create just a little bow, if you would like, with what you had left over. And you just tie it up like you tying up a shoe, a shoelace. Just to make your little bow. But this look like a big bow. Let me try to. And if you don't want the bow this big. I'm pretty sure you guys can like cut on it a little bit. Cut the sides right here. A little tab bit. Just to make it look um, the way that you want it to look. You can really just tuck that up under. Just tuck it behind the uh, the headband, and there you have a quick little side bow as well on that baby. And yes, this is it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. So let's get to my tiny haul, and also have love mail. So first off, I'm going to show you guys some more love mail. That I got from Miss Sonia. Um, her YouTube name is Love in the City, which I just got some love mail from her recently, and she blessing me with some more. God is just so good to me. I mean, y'all just don't know. Y'all really just don't know how blessed I am. And I keep speaking it and saying it over and over and over again because it's the truth. So my love mail came in this box right here. And I took a peek at it, but I didn't really go in the box box like that. So, first item that I received from her is this cute little red, black, and white zebra print jewelry holder. Ain't this cute, you guys? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I really love this and I will definitely feel this baby up because I have so much jewelry right now. I just have so much jewelry. So this thing here right here will definitely come in handy and I'm going to definitely feel this baby up. I'm going to fill it up to the T y'all. I also got... <gasps> no she did not. No she did not. Oh my god. Is this a braiding unit? OMG, you guys, look at this. Look 
at this wig. And I'm looking at the wig like, is this some braids? Oh, wow. This is so gorgeous. So she sent me a little card. It says Chrisima. Take the little card off right here. It says Chrisima. I think this is where she got the wig from. And this is 24 inches. And this is an ombre unit right here. And yes, yeah, she also sent me a little note, but I'm going to read that off camera. But OMG, you guys, look at this braided unit. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. Look at the ombre. Y'all see that? Wow, I am not gonna put this baby on right now today, but I will definitely be doing a review on her. And she is so heavy, like the braids are really heavy, but I am loving this ombre orange. It's so pretty. Oh my God, it's just so cute. And these are like micro braids, y'all. Can't y'all see that? OMG. And it also has a lace. But guess what? I'm gonna save this for later for another whole video for you guys. This is amazing. Wow. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate this, Miss Sonya. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. God is so good to me so good to me thank you lord jesus i thank you lord i thank you jesus it's just amazing to receive such wonderful gifts from such beautiful people wow thank you so very much miss sonia i really appreciate the love and support that you have given me thus far you've showed me so much love and I truly love you back. I try to come on over to your channel. I support you much as I can. Um, I try to send people over to your channel to come watch your awesome videos. And yes, you guys, make sure you go over and check her out. She has a wonderful spirit, kind heart, and I just basically love everything that she shows on her videos. So you guys, please make sure you go check her out, please. Um, Yes, I'm truly blessed. All the glory goes up to God once again. I'm going to thank God and thank God and thank God until I die because it's nothing but him that keeps blessing me and he gets all the glory. So, yes, you guys, let's get into my little tiny haul, things that I have purchased and things that I need to show you guys really quick that I got that I said that I was going to show you guys on my vlog channel. First off, I ordered me some seat covers. And it came in this right here. But of course, I already put it in my car. Sorry about that, y'all. So I took my other steering wheel off that was in my car, which was a Hello Kitty steering wheel. Which, I'm pretty sure y'all don't know see that. <laughs> but this is my Hello Kitty steering wheel that I took out of my vehicle. But this is what I ordered from off Amazon. This is just a quick picture of what I got. I got the two seat covers. The back seat covers it also came with seat belt um safety holders it came with the top covers for the top part of the um uh, seat right here i got three of those and it also came with a steering wheel so i already put it in my car you guys so i will be showing you guys but this more is my um steering wheel let y'all see it really good this is how my seats look right here and this is the Back other one cover. okay here's my new seat covers right here i just haven't uh i just haven't put these in here yet but these are really sturdy they're thick and i got them for dd's discount right here for ten dollars for a piece so that's an awesome deal so these what i got in here they're coming out and this is how the back seat cover look let me take all this stuff off of here this is how the back seat look And these little things, you got four of these, you get four of these. These are like little seat belt safety holders that you put on your seat belt to go across your neck right here so it won't scrape up your neck. That's what these are for. And I got four of these. So, yes, and I got this from Amazon and I paid $24 for her plus tax. 
and yeah that was it and that was a whole set so that was an awesome deal okay i also went back to room 21 and i purchased some things up in there i went back in there recently and i got some things that i saw in there that i liked it from out of here picked up some more jewelry rather so i'm going to show you guys what i got first off i got this necklace because it was 50 percent off so just a cute little heart necklace right here and this is the the fat one at the bottom and it also comes with like um, body tattoos so this is like a cute little body tattoo I guess you could place like right here um, you put it right here on your chest I guess I don't know but I have to read the directions no here it is you guys it's like a tattoo but you put it right there on your on your uh, hand right here this is the instructions telling you what to do so yes this is really cute the price says $6.99 but I only pay like a dollar I think it was a dollar and some for this. It wasn't even, I mean, it really went down. Like, seriously, it wasn't even near where, it wasn't even $4. It was like, I paid like a dollar and something for this. It was really a big, huge sale that they, was go, that they had going on when I went in there. I also picked up these shades here. And these shades run at, the price was $5.99. But I paid a dollar for them because they were on sale for a dollar as well. And I like them because they're a hot pink and it's cute. Love it. Y'all know I'm a big fan of, of sunglasses anyway. And that's all I got from Room 21. Now we're going to go to Dollar Tree because I picked up some things at the Dollar Tree. I actually went in Dollar Tree today to try to find me another one of these. But it just so happened I couldn't find one. Um... They didn't even have any more uh, scarves at all. So I just thought I was going to use this one. But anyway, I went in there and I picked up some more items. I picked up this um, Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation right here. I'm going to try this out because I always use my CoverGirl Vice Versus the Black Radiance. I've been using my Black Radiance lately and it's really cute on my skin. But I wanted to try this here. And they just put these out at my location. You guys probably already have seen them. I don't know. But this is in the color SFF20. And this is um, Nutmeg Muscade. Well, actually the number is 230 Nutmeg. And I'm going to try this on my skin and see how this works as well. I also picked up some Wet n Wild um, eyelashes. I didn't find any of the Wet n Wild uh, makeup brushes they totally ran out in my location so yeah I have to go across town if I want to find those um, I picked up some of these for my burner and I also picked up a new candle which called the raspberry filled Krispy Kreme donut right here so I saw this at the Dollar Tree and I was like wow <laughs> these people got Krispy Kreme donut candles so I was actually trying to go in there and pick up one of those Skittle candles because Miss Janine asked me to pick up one to see how it, if it really smelled like anything. But I was about to pick that up until I saw this. And I was like, well, let me try this one first and see what this smells like and see if I can get a scent or something when I burn it. But it smells pretty good. It smells like a raspberry. But I don't know what it's going to smell like when I burn it. So I'll let you guys know if this really works right here. So that is something different and new. Um... I think that's it guys oh and I also picked up this candle Ben picked up this candle I got this candle at the value dollar plus store and this is just like raspberry or something like that but I like Ben picked this up and I burnt it today but you can only smell it like after a couple of hours when it burns like all the way in the middle as you guys see I burnt it in the middle that's when you smell it a little bit and I think that Krispy Kreme donut uh, candle will probably be like that as well but anyway that was it Make sure you guys um, check out Mim Pam and check out Love in the City. I will leave both of their links down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys later on the next one. Later, babies. Bye.